Hello stamping friends, this is Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I'm so glad to be back with you again with another live class. This time we're featuring the Magical Meadow Bundle. It is really, really lovely. It's great. It's kind of an all occasion wintry type of set. You can use it for Christmas. You can use it for winter, uh, you know, beyond Christmas. Um, it doesn't come with a, a happy birthday stamp, but if you have a happy birthday stamp and I'm probably pretty sure that you do, then you can use that with it too and just make a beautiful card. The paper, the winter meadow paper is gorgeous. And that alone is the reason that I love, love, love this particular class. So you'll see what I mean when you see the paper. Um, before we get started, I wanted to remind you that we have some brand new online exclusives that are available today, just released, and they are really, really awesome. Did you know that Stampin' Up! releases online exclusives about every other month right now? and it's gonna be increasing in the future. So these are items that are not in any catalog. They're only available online, as the name suggests. Um, and then they're also available while supplies last. Now, many of the more popular items will come back. They'll restock those, and you can continue to get them again and again, even if they sell out several times. But then the ones that aren't so popular, they'll fall off, and they'll be available while supplies last. So. Um, something to check out because Stampin' Up! is adding to that, like I said, every other month. So we have a big release today and you'll want to check that out when we flip the camera around right before we get started with our class. I'm going to show you just a couple of items that I haven't had a chance to play with yet, but I'm really excited about and you'll definitely want to, to check those out. So um, if you want to go to your... Um, I, I'm going to have a link. You can go to twocoolstamping.com and you can see my shop now link there and get to the online store that way. Or um, just go to stampinup.com and you can search for me uh, for as a demonstrator. Um, and then just look for the online exclusives category and you'll see all of the online exclusives, not just the ones that are released today, but also the other ones that are available as well as the kit collection kits. So um, one of those are released every month. So you'll get a new opportunity to have something fun to craft with in a kit as well. So check that out, online exclusives. Okay, we're gonna flip it around. I'm gonna show you a couple of online exclusives and then we'll get started with our Magical Meadow class. All right, hold on. All right, let me get this straightened out a little bit. There we go. And another light on the subject here. All right. So I wanted to get started again, like I said, with a few online exclusives. My favorite, favorite one that's been released, and I know you're going to want to look at it too, is the Meandering Meadow Designer Series paper. It's a six by six pad. And look at this. They're like little mini works of art. I just, they look like they're I bet that they're pastel pictures. A lot of times Stampin' Up! will actually do works of art and then take photographs of them and adjust the colors so that they perfectly match and coordinate with the Stampin' Up! colors. And then that's the designer series paper. So these look like pastel art prints. So look at these. You'll get um, four each of each pattern, six by six. And they're just beautiful scenery in that beautiful, almost like an impress, impressionistic, I'm not very good with art, but um, kind of has an impressionistic type of feel. And just beautiful, beautiful scenery. And this has been so popular with demonstrators and they um, had a pre-order up until today and they had limited quantities that they could get what, with the pre-order. So now that it's released to the public, I'm thinking this paper is going to sell out quickly. So that's just, those are the super pretty sides. Let me show you the other sides because those are also pretty. Just some coordinating patterns. Just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with this. Now, this is part of the uh, Garden Meadow Suite. And here is the Garden Meadow Bundle. So this is another online exclusive. Again, not in any catalog, available while supplies last. The stamp set, I like it, it's okay. I really love this die set, because, especially love this window, because you use it in combination with a lot of these scenes, and they're just going to look, 
you know, you're going to have like a little window to a, a, a little creek and just really pretty. I can't wait to play with it. Anyway, check that out. That's my favorite thing. There's also some glimmer paper that kind of goes with that. It's a three pack, uh, three color pack of glimmer. You get two each of each color, petal pink, Highland Heather, pretty peacock. So that's um, just, you know, the basic glimmer paper. So that's available. Another one I can't wait to try. Oh, wait, I forgot the, the ribbon that goes with that. It's just kind of a vanilla ribbon with a uh, pecan pie center stripe. So really pretty, that goes with that garden meadow. Then we have this one I can't wait to try, the fluffiest friends. My daughter's gonna love this. They're like little chubby animals. And then you have all of the die cuts that go with it. And another little window that you can cut out and make some layered scenes with those characters. So I'm loving, loving that. All right, so that's just a few things that you can get with the online exclusive. There's more, so check it out. Again, go to my twocoolstamping.com. Click on the Shop Now link. Um, I actually have a link right now that goes directly to the online exclusive, so you can check that out, and it'll take you right there. Um, there's about a dozen new products, so check that out. Okay, today we are working with our Magical Meadow, and I will be doing a class kit with this. So we have... Um, I do a five card class kit. If you place an order for $40 or more and use that host code that I have here at the top, 9NWFARPJ on your minimum $40 order, then you'll get all the supplies to make the five cards that I am going to show you today. So um, I, I just know you're gonna love this because like I said, the paper is just fantastic. This is the stamp set and it has some really pretty um, greenery here, some berries, some nice wintry type of sentiments, and some tree images, and then the dyes that go with it are really phenomenal. You'll not only get the outlines for all of the different um, images that you have here, but you'll also get some additional greenery that um, is just on its own that you can make with the with um, the cardstock. So there's like one, two, three, four. There's at least four that are just for cardstock and little berries. And there's even a little, a funky little shape here to go with that little tree shape at the bottom. So lots of fun, um, versatile dye images to use with that. Then we have the paper, which is the, the best part of this whole suite. So this is the winter meadow paper. This is a watercolored look. I love this because you can cut it into pieces and just use it for um, your whole card front. So here's that with, and all the backs are kind of another watercolory, um, like a with rock salt type of speckly look to it, a little pattern. I love this again. It's beautiful watercolor deer in a gray, smoky slate, basic gray type of thing. And you can just cut those and put those as a full card front. Beautiful, here's the back. And this is more like a pebbled path background. I love this one with the beautiful berries. Very Christmassy looking, pretty peacock. These trees, I love that scene, so wintry. And um, the colors are, it says uh, blueberry bushel but um, Night of Navy works really well. And then some coordinating smoky slate for that. This is my favorite. I love all of these greens and blues together. Lost Lagoon, a little bit of garden green, or maybe even shaded spruce. Um, some pretty peacock in there too. And even some pool party. And then this is the last one with just some little tiny trees and also some Lost Lagoon patterns on the back. So really, really pretty designer series paper. We're going to be using a lot of those today. All right, let's get started with our class. Oh, I think I forgot to mention um, the, the class will be available until November 21st, 2023. And so again, just place your order for $40 or more. Go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the shop now link. Don't forget to use that host code. All right, let's get started. So the first one is going to be a very wintry look. We're starting out with a basic white, 
and this is the thick cardstock because it's going to be the card base and I like to have a nice thick card base. It definitely makes a difference. The regular basic white is a little bit thinner just because it's a multi-purpose layering, stamping um, type of a cardstock. So it's just a little bit thinner than your normal colored cardstock. So start with the thick as your base. Next, I have another piece of, this is basic white, the regular cardstock. This is going to be three and three quarter by five. I've already embossed that with the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. You'll find that in the mini catalog. I love that. So pretty. And then another layer here of the blueberry bushel. And this is just a little bit bigger. It's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So we're just going to adhere those together using some seal adhesive. That's going to be my basic adhesive. All right. Next, I'm going to add just a little strip here of Lost Lagoon. That's going to be three and three quarter by one and a half. And we'll just add that to the bottom just for a little pop of color. Whoops, I made that a little bit too long. Hold on. I think I made it four inches instead of three and three quarter. Shh. Fixing it, fixing it. Oh, I made it a little bit too short. You'll get the idea. Okay, then we're going to... I always have to make at least one mistake, right? I can't be perfect. And I like to start it right off the bat so that it just sets the tone for the whole class, right? All right, so there's our card background. Really simple, but uh, very wintry looking. And then I'm gonna just do a, let's see, what did I do with my one piece? I have a piercing mat here, just so I can have a nice little base to be stamping on. And then just some um, copy paper that you can use because I'm gonna stamp off of this just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna, this is gonna be all stamping, no designer series paper. I'm gonna start out with my sentiment, just so that I know how to position my other foliage. So Winter Wishes goes up in the corner in the blueberry bushel. Next, I have Blackberry Bliss, and I'll use that with this larger branch with some berries. And then next I have another piece here that I'll do in blueberry bushel. I love these colors. They're kind of like my two cool colors. So you know that I love them. I need to ink my stamp pad it looks like. Now these images do tend to stamp a little bit lighter. They are the um, distinctive type of stamps, so that means they have kind of a dot pattern to them. And they're meant to stamp a little bit lighter, so, but I do still need to maybe ink that one up a little bit because it did, um, either I didn't press hard enough or it's just a little bit too light there. I'm gonna finish up with some Lost Lagoon. I'm gonna see how dark that is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stamp that off once. and add a little bit of color. Very too cool colory to me. I love all those colors together. All right, we're gonna finish up with a piece of, gosh, I forgot the name of it. Let me look real quick because I love this ribbon. Um, of course, not all the ribbon and embellishments are available. We've had lots of things that have sold out and came back several times. This ribbon, I think, is available, but don't quote me on that. I know I have enough to I think it is available. It's called the White Half Inch Iridescent Ribbon. And I love how it has that beautiful iridescence. It has a little bit of a blue and pink and even yellow feel to it. Very snowy and wintry. So I'm just gonna tie that into a double knot. And even though this is half inch ribbon, it's really very um, easy to tie. It's 
nice and um, soft and you can manipulate it very well. All right, I'm gonna trim the edges here. And maybe put this over to the edge. All right. So we're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals onto our card front. So I had someone ask me, why do you take the dimensionals out of the center instead of starting at the edge? And it got me thinking, I don't know why, I just kind of bend it because I feel like it's easy, <laughs> easier to grab it off there if I bend it a little bit. How do you take them off? Do you start at the edge and work one, one side to the other? Or do you start in the middle or just random? I mean, I never thought about it before. So, but that's why I do it. I just kind of bend it in the center and it helps pop them up a little bit so I can peel them off the backing. Other than that, who cares, right? All right, here is our focal point. We're just gonna add that right to the bottom here. And we're gonna finish it up with some iridescent pearls. I absolutely love the look of the iridescent pearls with this iridescent ribbon. It goes so well. And usually, I don't know if, if you've been with me for a while, I usually have a piercing tool that I use for all of my embellishments, but I recently got the additional crafters, um, picks. I don't know what they're called, but they're an additional set of things that go with the take your pick tool. And it includes a little pick like the old piercing tool. So I decided that I was going to use that because I love just having that little tiny uh, point on there for picking up my embellishments. So just a few of those to offset the shine of this, and we are done with that card. I absolutely love that one. That is my, that's my favorite out of this whole bunch because I love the colors and the simplicity of it. So let me show you my too cool version. I like to do that. And that is a Lost Lagoon version. So I started with Lost Lagoon. The background is also Lost Lagoon and embossed in that same snowflake sky. I used a piece of designer series paper from the Winter Meadow pack for the the um, strip down here, Whis or the not Whisper White, that's the old name, Basic White. And then I brought the focal point up and used a different sentiment, a little bit different positioning, not very much, but uh, still pretty much the same, the same layout with a little bit different look with that Lost Lagoon. So you'll get all of the parts and pieces for this one. You'll just add the stamps and inks and adhesives. Okay, next card. One of the unexpected colors in this set is Moody Mauve. We're gonna start with that as the card base. My traditional card bases are five and a half by eight and a half, scored at uh, four and a quarter. And we're gonna start with a piece of Blackberry Bliss. This is five and a half by one and a quarter. And we'll adhere that along the bottom. Hold on, we're not gonna do that yet, actually. I need to add some stamping first. I almost forgot. All right, I need to clean some of my stamps. So I'm gonna use my Simply Chamois. It's very well loved, but it, you, it works so well. If you have it nice, and wet, just run it under tap water, washes out all the ink, a little squish squish, and you're ready to go for the next color. So I'm just gonna wash these up while I'm here. And let's get my cinnamon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that again too. Okay, ready to go. We're gonna use this one with Moody Mauve. We're gonna just add some background stamping and Kind of right in the center right now but you'll see where where i'm going with it and that will lighten up a little bit as it dries then we'll have that piece of blackberry bliss go right along the bottom i have a piece of the winter meadow paper this is four and a quarter by one and three quarters And we're gonna 
add that right down the side here. I like this type of a layout a lot where it has kind of a cross of two strips of paper. Let me get that up there a little bit farther. And then I'm gonna just trim this off. I don't like things hanging off the edge. If you use your super sharp paper snips, you can get that really easily. All right, next, let's build that focal point. I have a little foundation that I created with the circle decals dies. Do you guys have these? Oh my gosh, look at all these sizes of circle decals. Deckled circles. <laughs> There's so many sizes here. And this large one, look how big it is. It's like bigger than the piece of paper, the bigger than the card. But you could use that like for a semi-circle type of thing. Anyway, this is definitely a must-have if you don't have that in your die collection. And I don't think I showed on the first card the deckled rectangles, which also we've had that for a little bit longer, but that's also a must-have. Okay, back to the show. We have Lost Lagoon here with that deckled circle, circles die. And we'll go ahead and add that with some seal. All right, now we're just gonna build on that foundation here. And I have some pieces already cut. I have basic, I have Blackberry Bliss die cut. I have a pretty peacock die cut. Aren't those beautiful? I love those. Next, I am gonna do two stamped pieces. This one I'm going to do in Pretty Peacock. And I think I'm gonna stamp off once. You could use Lost Lagoon if you wanted to, but I like just, it's still a little bit darker than Lost Lagoon, but stamped off, I like it a little bit better there. Then we're going to use our Stampin' Right markers and stamp another little piece here. These little berries. I just love this technique so much. So you always want to start with kind of the lighter color and you're going to use that brush tip end. Remember there's new Stampin' Right markers now. They have a really pretty um, fine tip end that writes very well. They're not at all like they used to be. The old, um, the old fine tips used to dry up really quickly. They didn't last very long, but these are gonna last you much longer. You can actually write on the inside of your card. I'm using the brush tip end, and you can see I'm not doing this. I'm painting with it like a paintbrush, just very gently using that side of the nib so that I don't squish it. So this is Moody Moth. Then we're gonna add some Lost Lagoon. You can tell it's the brush tip end because it's the wide width here of the stripe. You also can see the brush tip versus the 0.5 tip. So I'm gonna color the leaves now with that Lost Lagoon. All right, I think I have everything there. And then we're gonna finish it up with Blackberry Bliss right on the tops of these little berries. Again, you wanna start with the lightest color and then end with the darkest color. That way you're not contaminating your, um, your brushes or your markers too much. All right, we have all of our colors on there now. And let's see if we can get the light over here a little better. Now, depending on how big your image is, you might want to huff on it. <sighs> kind of rejuvenates the ink a little bit. And then stamp with that. So there's my image. And then I've already die cut those two images that I just stamped. So I have those ready to go. So now we're gonna just put this together. Let's start with our Blackberry Bliss. We're gonna use some multi-purpose liquid glue. Just a few little tiny dabs here and there as you go up the stems or up the branch. And 
and we'll add that try not to get it all over my fingers we'll add that right here next let's add this one they look like little mittens almost don't they like little baby mittens this one's gonna go right about here and then we're gonna let's see how'd I do it yes I popped up the other two let's do our sentiment first so our sentiment I have a die cut here from basic white and I use this um, fancy simply fancy no something fancy I think is the name of the dies let's look I think I have them right here here they are something fancy dies I use the smaller one there and the larger horizontal sentiment we're gonna do that in blackberry bliss all right let's pop that up with some dimensionals and then we'll add the last two bits of the foliage so I'm gonna put this let's put this right about here And then I want this to kind of stick out of the side, so I'm going to cut some of this off. And we'll add some dimensionals behind here. These might take some little mini dimensionals. Those come in handy. If you don't have mini dimensionals, you can use the outer edge of your dimensionals. Just cut them with scissors, or you can even tear them. So this little edge right here, those are perfect for little tiny areas like that. So we'll just add that, tuck it under your sentiment there. Same with this one, we're gonna add some dimensionals on the back. And tuck it right underneath that sentiment. Do do do, just like that. All right, we're gonna add a couple of our iridescent pearls. And I'm getting used to using this tool. It's a little bit longer <laughs> than my piercing tool. So we'll use a large one and a couple of small ones. Let's put that right there. All right, so here is our second card. Love that. And I'll show you my too cool version. I, I like this one. This was the one that I made ahead of time. This one was over just a little bit farther. Let me show you. See this one, I have just a little tiny bit and I, I like this one a little bit better. It has a little bit more over to the side showing. So it's the focal point's a little more centered, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, here's my too cool version in misty moonlight as the background. I kept the Lost Lagoon. This time I used a smaller piece of designer series paper with a moody mauve background, matte layer, some uh, pretty peacock, and then very similar look. This time I used some mossy meadow stamped off. I did this the same. I used Night of Navy and then moody mauve. So super cute, I love that. All right. Next, for our third card, I started with Misty Moonlight, just a regular card base again. And this time, I started with a base of basic white. It is three and three quarter by five. And then I started I'm gonna decorate that with some pieces of the um, designer series paper. And what I did was, um, I might have this the wrong size actually, maybe not. Um, I used the, the piece that had a lot of different, it had a lot of color on the edges, but not so much on the middle. 
and I just cut squares that were three and three quarter and cut them diagonally. So the ones that had the foliage I'm using on the bottom and then the other ones I'm flipping over and using on the top. And then we'll have a little stripe right down the center that will put another color of cardstock. So hopefully that makes some sense. I just was trying to maximize the use of that designer series paper because I love the foliage, but there's lots of white pieces, um, lots of white spaces in that. So it's basically a, a square. And if you did it with other designer series paper, you could just cut a square and then split them apart. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> All right. So this side doesn't hardly have any of that pretty pattern on it, so we'll use the back. And just put it flush against your basic white. If you don't quite get it flush and you have some white showing, I have just a tiny bit of white showing, you could just use your paper trimmer or just um, cut with your paper snips if you want to so you don't have any of that showing. All right, next I have a strip of smoky slate and I'm gonna put that right across the top here and I'll add seal right down the center. Lay that over and I'll use the paper snips again just to trim that away. Just kind of a different way of utilizing that designer series paper. All right, so there is our card front. Again, I have a little tiny bit of white there that's gonna drive me crazy. I really need to cut it. Although I won't be able to cut it <laughs> straight, so let's not do that. I don't, it's like, which is worse, a non-straight cut or a little bit of white showing? A little bit of white showing is fine. Okay, see, you're, you're listening to my child now, if you can hear her, she's upstairs. Having a little tantrum she'll be two very soon so she's been practicing those terrible twos <laughs> all right next for the focal point I use the something fancy dies again to have this piece in night of navy so that'll be a, a the sentiment layer background here's another piece this is from the all that dies in basic white and that's where we're going to stamp our sentiment and we'll do that in misty moonlight it says the colder weather brings us together all right so that's gonna go over this I'm gonna go ahead and put this down as my background focal point background all right and then this is going to go on top, but I want a little bit of greenery there, so let's create some. I'm going to do the same kind of a thing with Stampin' Write markers. This time, we're going to color the berries in Moody Mauve and the rest of it in Mossy Meadow. So again, just using that brush tip. Coloring in those berries. The Moody Mauve is a little bit lighter of a color, so I wanna start with that one. And then we'll use the brush tip of the Mossy Meadow to fill in the rest of the greenery. And don't be af afraid to move this around so that you, since you're using the edge of it, you don't wanna accidentally contaminate the little berries. So move it around if you need to. Whoops, I I uh, colored in a berry, I see. I missed one with my Moody Mauve. That's okay. We don't care. That berry isn't ripe yet. It's just brand new. It's still green. Okay. Again, you might want to huff on top of that and then stamp. Isn't that beautiful? I love that look. It's so, oops, I missed a, a little spot of my, of my leaf there. 
thank goodness I already did it and die cut it. <laughs> And so that's ready to go. Now what I want to do here is I want a little bit sticking out of the top and a little out of the bottom. So I'm just going to trim those. Just going to kind of cut it in half. So watch this. I love this. I'm going to stick a little bit out this way. And a little bit out this way. Then we're gonna pop it up with some dimensionals over the whole thing. Many, many dimensionals. All right, that should do it. So there we go. I probably need to put this down just a tiny bit, but I have too many dimensionals on there. So we're gonna pretend that that's, make sure that it's not going up above the card because mine looks like it might be just a little bit too high, but that's okay. All right, then we're gonna finish it up with, I have, look, I have just a little piece here of the Knight of Navy bordered ribbon that I've just tied in a knot, basic knot, and just trimmed the edges. I'm gonna add that with a glue dot. Just give it a little color and fill in that blank spot at the bottom. We'll bring back our iridescent pearls. And we'll add those. Another three. And there you go. So this, you'd want that a little bit down farther. Let me show you my original card so that it's a little bit more <laughs> centered the right way. So there is the third card. You'll get all the parts and pieces for that. Let me show you my two cool version. So that one is in pretty in pink, or pretty in pink. That's not true at all. It's pretty peacock. And I've used different um, designer series papers. For my berries and leaves, I used Pretty Peacock and Moody Mauve. I used the Lost Lagoon for, actually I think I might have used Lost Lagoon, and I'm not sure. I did lose, use Lost, Lost Lagoon for the, for the foliage, and then that really pretty Lost Lagoon ribbon, textured ribbon. I stamped in Pretty Peacock, and then I used some of the sequins trio sequins in white for a fun wintry look for that. And then I actually did a third version because, to tell you the truth, to be completely honest, I was having trouble using the the leaf or the trees image, and so I tried it on this one, and I used the circle deckled circles dies for a background. I stamped those trees in Pretty Peacock, die cut them with a, the coordinating die, a little bit of Lost Lagoon. It's on Pool Party. I love that tree background and then just a little bit of the greenery die cuts. And the this time we have Smoky Slate again for the, for the diagonal piece and then stamped the sentiment in Smoky Slate as well. So I love how that turned out. Um, it is a little bit, it's a little bit tricky of an image, I think, to use, but it's, it's a lot of fun to, to experiment a little bit. Okay, next up, this particular card, I completely cased it almost exactly from Kathy Miller. So thank you so much, Kathy, for your awesome design. I will show you her card. It's almost identical. But when we're done, I'll show you what it looks like. So this one starts with four and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and then you'll score it at the five and a half inch mark. Fold that little flap down. That's going to be the top of your card. Then, this is kind of a little fancy fold card. It's called a bridge card. So we're going to 
just put a little mock up in here. We're not going to tack it down yet. You can tack it down if you don't want it to move, but you're going to have that for the inside of the card. Then you'll have this little piece here at the bottom. This is just to kind of get an idea of where things are going to lay. Then let me get my sentiment that I want to use out. Squish it on my Simply Chamois real quick. And I'm going to get my blueberry bushel ink. And I'm just going to stamp that over. So this is just for positioning purposes that I put those there. Stamp that over as far as I could on the side. All right, now we can, we can go ahead and add that. I don't like to add it ahead of time, just in case I make a mistake and put a big blob of something on it. I, I don't stamp it correctly. I have a halo effect. You know, not that I would ever do that, but I always like to just make sure. So there's the inside of our card. Kind of weird that we're working from the inside out. Then we have a piece here of the designer series paper, Winter Meadow. It's four by one and a half. We're gonna put that at the top here, decorate the top. All right, next we have our piece here at the bottom and we'll decorate that with another coordinating piece. So this is the little trees paper. The back of that one is in Lost Lagoon, so that works perfectly as a contrasting piece. Let's do this. Okay, that will be at the bottom. Now we need a connector, the bridge, if you will, and that's going to start out with a piece of Lost Lagoon. This is a two and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece. Next, we'll have another layer here that is two and an eighth by four and an eighth. So that will go over this part. We can go ahead and put that on there. nice little mat and then we'll set that aside then we'll do some stamping so this is a two by four inch piece of basic white and we're gonna stamp this with garden green I'm gonna need to wash off my leaves again so garden green, but I want it stamped off for sure. So stamp it off once. Like that. Next, I have a couple of die cuts that I've already cut out. I have Lost Lagoon die cut that one little piece I'm gonna get out of there and then I also have blueberry bushel so I will use my liquid glue again to add those little dab here little dab there little dab will do ya if you if you know you know And then the blueberry. Apparently, if you do it in the air, that works really well. Never, I, I don't normally just dab things in the air like that, but it works. All right, so there is our focal point. Let's add that to the layers. I feel like I have lots of glue that might be seeping out, so I'm just gonna add some glue here. I do it backwards probably should have stamped and then added it to my layers and then added my die cuts that way I wouldn't have a bunch of glue if I turned it upside down to put glue on it or put seal on it I might get some of the glue that's seeping out onto my work surface is what I'm trying to say okay next I have another piece of that beautiful iridescent ribbon winter it up a little bit 
Again, just another double knot. Like so. Very similar to the first card. And then this is when we do the bridge. Now we want to just add a few dimensionals at the top and a few at the bottom to create that bridge. Let me get this. This ink is sitting here just waiting to get on my hand or a project. <laughs> I know that it is. So, all right. So I'm going to put two up at the top and then one in the middle, just slightly down, just for a little bit of stability. Same on the bottom. All right, now you're gonna to want to make sure that this bottom piece is nice and flush all the way along the bottom and the sides. And then add this piece as your bridge. All right, there you go. And you can certainly do some additional greenery on the inside of any of these cards to make it just absolutely gorgeous. But this is, um, I'll show you my finished one has some pearls. I used iridescent pearls on all of these cards. So I wanted to show you my original swap card that I received from Kathy Miller because I really totally copied what she did. Um, I love this ribbon that she used. This is the silver edged sheer ribbon. Um, that's not actually available right now. It's currently sold out, but it's coming back. Uh, I can't remember how soon, but it's some, sometime in November. And then also these faceted gems are uh, really pretty also not available for a few weeks. So um, I really did love what she did and I wanted to replicate that, but I had to just switch it up just a little bit with the embellishment. So thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate that swap card. Oh, let me show you my too cool version. So I did another version in Night of Navy. I used that pretty designer series paper on both sides and um, I stamped a different background uh, piece, a, a different background image in stamped off garden green, I believe, and um, some garden green, is it garden green? No, it looks like shaded spruce, and blueberry bushel for the die cuts. I used that really pretty ribbon. Um, since I could since I only have one spool, I didn't want to do, use it for my class card since I wouldn't have that. And actually stamp this in Mossy Meadow because there's a, a little bit of Mossy Meadow in there as well. So those are the two cool versions. You'll get all the parts and pieces for this card in your class kit. All right, we have one more card. It's super fast and easy. It's also a fun fold. And I really don't know what this one is actually called, except I like to call it a photo album card just because it reminds me of the way a photo album would would open. You start with Night of Navy. It's four and a quarter by 11. I have scored at five and a half and also at six and three quarters. Let's just make sure I, that's true. Yep, six and three quarters. So you'll fold that in half. And then this other score line is how it's going to go back like this. So you can actually just seal that and it just reminds me of an old photo album. So if someone knows a, a different name for this, I just have never heard of a different name. I don't know what it's called. All right, so there is our special card front and we're going to just put it together really simply. I have a piece here of that really pretty Night of Navy tree paper, and it's at a weird size. It's at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths square. And then we have a four by four inch piece of basic gray that we're gonna put that on. And we're gonna let the paper do most of the, the work on this, most of the heavy lifting, because it's just so, so pretty. So we'll add that. I have another piece of the basic gray that is four by one, and I've already embossed that with the Snowflake Sky paper. 
So that will go on the spine of the photo album here. All right, next I have just a little basic white stylish shapes die cut and I will stamp that with blueberry bushel, winter wishes. Yeah, I do need to ink that up, it's not very light. And I've already punched out, this is a handmade tag punch. I love this shape. So that is gonna go like so, but kind of like the other one, I want a little bit of greenery, or in this case, whitery, <laughs> coming out of either side there. So again, I'm gonna cut this so that I don't have to do two different die cuts. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive behind here. And I'm gonna put this coming out this way. I'm gonna turn this one upside down so it's coming out this way. I'm gonna pop this up onto the handmade tag punch shape. And you notice I'm putting the dimensionals right over those little branches, just an extra little security for them to not fall out. And you could make the shape go this way. I did my too cool version like that. You'll see it in a minute, but I kind of liked it going up and down. And then it's just a matter of where do you want it on your pretty paper. Put a little bit of seal on there. I'm gonna put mine down here. You could put it over, but I want it, you could put your greenery or your whitery, whatever you wanna call it, going a different direction so that you can put it in a different, a different spot on your square. We'll finish it up with a little bit more of that beautiful iridescent ribbon. And I'm, rather than doing all that, I'm just gonna save some time and show you my finished card. So here's my ribbon. I also added a few more iridescent pearls. You could even add a little bit of Wink of Stella shimmer. That would be so much fun. And then, um, you know, you just would have a, a four by four square on the inside. Um, okay, let me show you my too cool version of that. So this one starts with basic gray. I use those really pretty deer patterns. And you can see the handmade tag is now in the square rather than diamond shape. I used a different white die cut from the Garden Meadows. And I used that pretty sheer ribbon with the silver. I also used a different embossing folder. I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember if it's Evergreen. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Fern Evergreen, I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's in the annual catalog. And then I finished off with some rhinestones that look so beautiful with that silver accent on there. And then the inside, I used that small tree stamp just as a little accent and used that horizontal sentiment to go with it. So, and I don't think I told you it was cherry cobbler for the, for the mat and the side spine. So those are the two cool versions. Okay, let's get all of your cards out that will be in the class kit. Move everything over that has any ink on it so I don't hurt it, hurt any of the cards. All right, so we have, let's put the two horizontal ones there and then these three. So you'll get all the parts and pieces to create all five of these uh, Magical Meadow cards. You'll just need to add the stamps, the inks, the adhesives, and if you want any of the stamped pieces die cut, you'll definitely want the die cuts. That'll help you out, but you can always use your uh, paper snips for that if you don't have the dies. You will get all of the, the solid um, die cuts that are just from the cardstock. So those will be provided for you. But anything that's stamped first, like these or these, then you'll have to do those um, after you stamp. So just get the scrap paper for those. All right, I think that's it. Don't forget, if you want to get that kit, it's available through November 21st with your $40 minimum order. You can just go to twocoolstamping.com, click on the Shop Now link, 
You must use that host code in order to get the kit. That's how I know you want that particular kit for, um, for placing that order. And I think that's it. Thank you so much. I am so glad that you have joined me today. Hope you really love the cards. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any comments, let me know in the comments. All right. I look forward to stamping with you again soon. Until next time, this is Angie with Two Cool Stamping. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.